Hey yo, what up world, what's truly good with y'all? Back with a completely different video today, but also it's a throwback video. It's like what I used to do on this channel. And this is like the topic that I wanna bring up today is like being okay with imperfection. And it's weird, like as I move through this YouTube journey of making YouTube videos, over time, people who've been with me from the very fucking start have known that I used to make videos literally laying in my bed like this this is where my channel started i started making asmr videos laying in my bed on an iphone like nothing crazy da, 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 da. it was very simple it's just that the content mattered that's what actually garnered attention was like the value in the content and i feel like we live in a world where a lot of times we're trying to like use tools and technology and these things to like to make things seem perfect and, 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 and like perfect this like thing. And, and, and while I appreciate perfection of craft and, and, and high quality products, there's something to be said about just like appreciating simplicity and like going back to basics and how like trying to strive to achieve perfection can be like terrible for the mind as a concept and, and for your mental health. And then also how there's just like this beauty in like simplicity and authenticity and just like everyday chill obviousness. And that's what this video is about. I was like, I'm actually challenging myself to go back to where I came from just for a video in the next ones. Yeah, I will still, you know, I've bought camera gear. I, I like to edit like, and these are all things that I love and, and they teach me like, you know, skills, right? In life, like, in life, like, being able to shoot video and, and, and edit and know how sound works. And like, those are all valuable things, right? But sometimes the magic is found in just laying in bed, <laughs> being connective, doesn't matter how good the quality is of, of the camera or anything like that, and just having a conversation and eating a pizza, right, from, from the Superstore, from President Choice, one of my favorites. I love just a simple pizza. And this is what we as humans all do, right? We as humans all love to buy a pizza. get hungry and eat it and just enjoy it like I'm doing now you know I know you know come home you want to just chill out you want to lay in your bed, you want to put on some Netflix, pull up with a pizza. Not one that you ordered, because the ordered one feels way worse for you. It makes you feel like you're definitely going to get fat, whereas like one of these pizzas makes you feel like, eh, all right, well, if I just have this like freezer pizza, you know, it's not as bad as like Pizza Hut, right? So you do that, you pull up, you have your little Netflix, you have your chill, and you just enjoy life. You you enjoy being in the moment. You enjoy your food, you have fun, it's a great vibe, it's all good. And so the reason I'm making this video is as a challenge to myself to go back to just appreciating the authenticity of like a simple thing, of like an easy thing, of a not overcomplicated thing, like this. Because, and this is me speaking to my fellow like content creators, Just like anything else in life, like a career where you get paid money for it. 
a lot of times, like in business or whatever, in a craft, could be carpentry, could be, you know, maintenance, like anything, any, literally anything, could be anything. You always try to, you always start on the ground floor, right? And then you, you move to a higher level. You get more tools or you learn more skills and you always try to push and press and get bigger, better and push the boundaries. And that's what happens with YouTube and content creation is like other people take the shit next level. Then they set the standard. And then you have to keep up with the standard. And that standard is like raising the bar. And I love that. I do. I think it's, I think it's dope. I love progression. I love, I love high quality. I'm about it. But at the same time, sometimes you have to glance back and look where you came from. And that's what I, what I'm doing here in this video is that if you go back to my original videos, I have 565 videos on my channel. That's a lot of videos. And this is how my, my channel started out. Literally. Just a simple thing. Me eating things, laying sideways in my bed when I had <laughs> zero subscribers. And then I had 200, and then I had 434. And then now I'm almost at 60,000. It's like, I started this channel out of passion because I cared about ASMR and food and wanting to give back and wanting to make people feel as comforted as I felt from other people making content. And it started out pure and it's still pure as it goes, but unfortunately it became a business and money got involved and things like that. So I won't lie. I'll admit it. My, my mindset has been perverted to some degree, like overridden by the fact that, okay, <clears throat> this thing can be a business, right? This thing can make you money. So I was like, the passion, I don't want to say I want, I don't want to say it gets drowned out because it doesn't because like I'm still so very passionate about everything. I'm even more passionate than I ever was, to be honest. Um, it's just that going back to the original sentiment of the video is like these standards get set and it's like where, where, where in do you, do you accept like what quality is? And quality in today's world is like crazy cameras, crazy editing, crazy color grading, amazing sound, like all these things is to be perceived as like what it, what will help garner success, right? Because you know, we grew up in a, you know, we've all watched movies and, th and it just, it, this is a media, this is a media thing, right? So media usually 
has all this good stuff, but here's the difference about what's crazy about success on YouTube is that sometimes, a lot of times, the video quality doesn't matter. None of that matters. What matters is what's coming out of the person's mouth who is on the video screen that you're watching. And that right there is the gold in the content. And that gold is an intangible thing called a personality, a person's mind, who they are, what they have to offer audibly to you and how unique that is or how you resonate with that that personality or that person's mind. And beyond appreciating ASMR and wanting to give back, I've always just wanted to share my mind. That's what this channel is about. Beyond food and appreciation of food and ASMR and craft and comfort and like wanting you to just to be like a happy person and a comforted person, because that's what I always started the channel from, is I just wanted to give back to the people who like saved my life when I was in a time of anxiety and like literally probably going to kill myself. These people and their mind saved my life. You know what I mean? So, and that beyond the fucking video quality or anything else, that was what was the most important. And I feel like a lot of times I push this channel to the point of like overthinking everything where really what actually matters is, I feel like I'm going to cry, is what I have to offer in saying things to you in, in understanding and trying to like collectively communicate important things that make you feel understood or better for having heard me speak. You know, like being okay. So, before you write in the comments, are you okay? I am okay. But is anybody okay? No, because we're all just like here dealing with, dealing with being. And dealing with being is sometimes very hard. But it's also sometimes really, really awesome. And like, I appreciate pizza and ranch and <laughs> friendships and humans and communication and family and everything like that. But sometimes, <laughs> you know, we have our head, we think a lot, right? And, you know, we're not okay. And it's okay to not be okay. Because you don't have answers. And all we have is questions. So I guess that's a perfect summary to this video is like, I started this channel with no subscribers. And all I ever wanted to do was just to give back to people who made me feel okay. When I didn't feel okay. And I feel okay now. And I want you to feel okay. Okay. But yeah, it's that real, it's that raw, it's that simple. We're all just humans, man. And I feel like in this world, a lot of, a lot of times it's, it's, it's a huge facade. And we're all hiding trying to put on this face of being okay when a lot of us aren't okay but that's fine because we're all tortured we're all tormented 
And we all don't know the truth. No, none of us know the answers to anything. But there is something to be said about just appreciating being being here and enjoying these things that we are able to enjoy, right? Relationships, family, connectivity, pizza, ranch, flavors, drinking, anything, just pleasures, right? So, super raw real, but I wanted to challenge myself to bring it back to this state of like what I used to do back in the day, very simple, very easy, not overthought, not overcomplicated, and just be completely authentically real and know that you are me and I am you, right? We are just humans. We are the same. We are awareness in a vessel and we all struggle, but we also enjoy things. And at the end of the day, it is what it is and it's all good. So I love you. Thank you for being here. I do. I love you. And thank you for being here. Until the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Please, just stay true. Okay, peace.